This week, how to use Evernote properly. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. Now this week I want to show you how I am using Evernote in what I believe to be the correct way and not trying to get Evernote to do something it was never designed to do. Now the reason I'm doing this video right now is A, I think you can all learn something from it, but B, because when I review the comments on many of the videos on Evernote, it seems that people have an unrealistic expectation of what Evernote is going to be able to do for them. Now we've got to remember that Evernote is just that. It is a note-taking application. It's not a word processor, it's not a database, it's a note-taking application first and foremost. And like any note-taking in the good old days of pen and paper, we used notebooks. And when post-it notes came out, we used little post-it notes to help tag our notes so that we could find them a little bit easier. And Evernote took that concept and moved it into the digital world. And that is where it has remained. And that is where I personally hope it will stay put. Because all I want Evernote to be is a note-taking application. There are many much, much better word processing documents out there. Apple Apple Pages, Google Docs and Microsoft Word, for example, are designed to be word processors. And if you need the power of a word processor, then you use one of those applications. So what I want to do is to show you how I recently put together an article that I wrote for a publication on Drake, i.e. the singer. And I'll show you what I want to do is show you the process I used in order to get the the idea and to build out the article and how I used Google Docs and I show you how you can use uh, Apple Pages which presumably would work with Microsoft Windows too and how you can build it all together just from one note in Evernote. So let's go into Evernote now but before I do that I would just like to say if you do get any value from this if you get any great ideas from this video please hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe. Okay, let's go into Evernote now and I'll show you how I created my article on what makes Drake successful. Okay, so whenever I have an article that needs some kind of research doing on it, then I would create a note in my Evernote and I will just start dropping ideas and links and all sorts in here. So, for example, here I was asked a few months ago, I was asked to do an article for an, for a publication on what makes Drake successful. Now, I'm not into Drake's kind of music. I'm, as most of you may know already, a huge trance fan and electronic dance music. But I have come across Drake, of course, and I really wanted to look into the secrets behind Drake, if you like the secrets, the the reasons why Drake became successful. So I had to do quite a lot of reading around the search. And of course, for me, usually I will start with Wikipedia. Now, I know Wikipedia is not 100% accurate, but it does give me a basic idea of what the the essence of what how Drake became successful and things like that. Uh, I also discovered a couple of videos, uh, What Drives Drake, which was a video from CBS News, which I read about that, or watched that. And <clears throat> one of my favorite YouTubers is Evan Carmichael, and he does these top, these 10 rules of success. And he's got many, many people out there. And a big call out to Evan there, because he's done a fantastic job with his channel, full of incredible videos. And I strongly recommend you go over there and have a look. But I picked up that, and it was only a 15 minute video. I found a a Quora answer and I've highlighted some of the things that I've wanted uh, that I thought was useful and then a Business Insider article and some quotes that uh, Drake has said himself. Now the thing is, this is where I do my research. This is what Evernote is fantastic for. This is what it was built for. This is what Evernote is all about. It's a note-taking application. Now I would never dream of writing my blog post in 
Evernote because Evernote is not a word processor. It never has been, it's never pretended to be, and as far as I'm aware, it's never going to become a word processor. But what I do want is I want to be able to get to the article that I'm writing. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I use Ulysses. Most of you who followed some of my videos know that I use Ulysses for all my writing. So I don't need to link directly from Evernote to my Ulysses because Ulysses is on, the, on a screen. I can just flip between screens and I can get straight to my Ulysses. But if I wasn't using Ulysses and I wanted to use something like Apple Pages or Google Docs for writing the article. And sometimes I have to send the article in Google Docs, this particular article I did. So what I did was I wrote the article obviously in my Google, in my Ulysses, but then I copied and pasted it over to Google Drive. Well, this is great because Evernote has a link to Google Drive right here. I can attach file from Google Drive. And once you've connected your account, you can do that. So all I need to do is click on that and I can now go to my Drake article, which is in here somewhere. <laughs> I know it's in here somewhere. It was a while ago that I wrote it. Um, there we go, that's there. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna select that. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna drop into my Evernote right up at the top here. So as I'm, when I start a period of writing with this, I can check my notes, I can see what I want to do, and then I can click on that and it will open up in my browser directly at the article and I can just get straight on and I can write the article. So that's one of the best reasons for using Evernote for building your articles or collecting notes and ideas. Now there was something else that I actually looked into because I'm not really a Google Docs user. I do use it when I need to collaborate but I do prefer normally for my word processing needs I like to use Apple uh, Pages. I've, I've just always used it since iWorks way back in the early 2000s. And so what I thought I would do is just see, can Evernote take that file? So here I have the file on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag this in. I'm gonna drop that right there. Now, what I noticed was is that when this comes in, it drops the whole great big shebang article. And I can go through the article like this, but that's not what I really wanted to do. So I was looking at this and what can I do? And what you can do is you can hit on control click and you can say view as attachment, which is what I want to do. So I'm gonna click that. And now that makes this article much smaller. Now, what I can do now is I can double tap that and it opens up the pages document. And there we go. So I can actually go into the pages document and I can write the article. So there are a couple ways that you can do this. As I say, Evernote is, its strength lies in its ability to collect research information and documents. But if you truly want to get a better writing experience, because Evernote is not a word processor, and I stress and emphasize that, is not a word processor. If you want all the formatting features that your word processor would have, then you can drop the document in. Now, Google Docs, obviously, because of its connection with Evernote, is probably the best way to go forward because you can actually do all sorts of things from here. I can open, I can copy the link, I can just go straight into the Google Doc just by clicking that. But I can do the same with my Pages article right there. So there's a lot of things that you can do. And that is one of the things that I really wanted to stress because I see a lot of the comments on my on these Evernote videos saying, I wish Evernote would do this, I wish Evernote would do that. And when, sometimes I feel that what people are missing is what Evernote is about. It's actually in the name, Evernote. Note is what it is, it's a note taking out. I don't hear people saying, oh, I wish Apple Notes would be a, a do this and do that like a word processor or Google Keep. For some reason, people seem to think Evernote is meant to do everything for you and it never is, it never will be. It's basically a note taking application. And as a note taker, it's probably the best note taker out there. Sure, the UI could do with a bit of updating, and uh, but the thing to me is, and more than anything else, Evernote is solid, it's strong, it doesn't crash, it doesn't disappear on me. 
and I just love it. So there's my rant. I'm sorry I went off into a rant there. But anyway, you get the idea. This is the best way to use Evernote. This is where you can get the full power of Evernote and it's going to help you to be able to do so much more work when you start using it in the right way. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery Version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative it will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.